now we will discuss problem about graph coloring graph coloring is a very interesting problem in which you are given a graph okay so a graph consists of vertices and edges connected to them and you have to color the graph such that no two adjacent vertices have same color okay so no two adjacent vertices no two adjacent vertices have same color so this is the requirement so and here we see that okay node 1 2 3 4 5 so there are five nodes and we have assigned colors green yellow and red such that none of them have the same color so we have to use minimum number of colors to assign colors to all nodes in the graph so let's define the problem so given graph g with vertices and edges and a positive integer m so find whether nodes of g can be colored using m colors such that no two adjacent nodes have same color okay so we have to color the graph using minimum number of colors and it should be less than equal to m okay so that is the requirement and here we see that there are six nodes and they are colored using how many colors one two three and four colors okay so number of nodes here is six and colors is m is equal to four so we have to devise one algorithm that can color a graph with maximum of m colors okay so let's see what will the state space look like for this so what happens is the node 1 I can I have let's say 1 2 3 till m colors I have okay so first node I can color using how many x1 can be 1 x1 can be 2 x1 can be 3 so this is the let's say that our nodes are 3 and m is equal to 3 colors are also 3 so I can color the first node using 1 2 or 3 third color 3 colors I can use so similarly if I have colored the node 1 with color 1 I come here and then I can color the node 2 with x2 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 2 x2 is equal to 3 so I have again three options then I have colored let's say node 2 also so now x3 can be 1 2 and 3 so this is the state space and there are how many possibilities so first node can be colored in three ways second node in three ways and third node in three ways so there are 27 possibilities of coloring but again so we have to color so it's basically n to the power of m so we have to color the graph using minimum number of colors okay so let's see what we will do so we will use something called backtracking where again we will be searching in the same space this search space and we will try to color the graph <coughs> so let's see the code so we will define a function m coloring which takes an integer k which tells us okay which node i'm going to color in this level okay so what we do is that we are given a graph adjacency matrix of the graph which will be zero so g i comma j will be zero if node i is not connected to j and it will be 1 if node i is connected to j so this is a boolean adjacency matrix and i have m possible colors from 1 to m okay so let's see so what we do is we first m coloring i give the level okay which node i have to color then we do a while loop do while loop so xk is equal to get node color so I try to get the color for the kth node and we will see this how this is implemented get color node color okay for the kth node but what happens if xk is equal to 0 it means I could not get any color so if I get get node color returns me 0 1 2 till m and if returns 0 it means it's, I, I could get no possible coloring assigned for this one because it was breaking the 
edge, the color graph curling property that adjacent nodes should have different colors. Okay. So now this is the case if xk is 0, so I cannot color the graph this way. If k is equal to n, so this is the for recursive function. I have colored all the nodes, so I will write that, okay, I have got colors for all the nodes and they follow the graph coloring property that no two nodes should have the same color. And otherwise what happens if xk is not 0, it, there is some valid colors assigned. And if k is not equal to n, that is I'm not done with all the nodes. So I will call m coloring k plus 1. So what does this mean that I will now assign color to the k plus 1th node because I'm done with the k nodes till now. Okay. So let's see what is this get node color. So get next color. Okay. So this one is get node color or so this should be get node color okay so you can have one this is a typo it should be get node color so get node color for the kth node what it does so we assume that x1 x2 till xk minus 1 they have already been assigned colors from 1 to m and now i have to assign color to xk so i enter a do while loop so xk is equal to, so initially all xks are x1, x2, x3 till xn are assigned value 0. So now xk, x1, x2 till xk minus 1 have some valid colors and xk, xk plus 1 till xn are all zeros. Okay. So xk is equal to xk plus 1 modulo m plus 1. So one thing we know is that modulo m plus 1, that is when I divide a number by m plus 1. So I will get remainders what 0 1 2 3 till m minus 1 m okay so this is the case so now we see that okay initially this will give me xk is 0 so it will give me color 1 then xk will become 1 so it will be a 1 plus 1 so 2 so i will have xk's assigned colors 1 2 3 till m okay so now what happens and finally i will get when xk will become m so it will be m plus 1 modulo m plus 1 which is 0. So it means I have tried all the possible colors but I could not get assigned any color. So xk when it becomes 0 I return xk. Okay. So this way it says that okay you have not got any valid coloring. So I return xk is equal to 0. So for j is equal to 1 if it is not the case that xk is equal to 0. So what I try. So for all the for all the nodes from 1 to n, I will check that, okay, is the graph coloring property satisfied? So if j, k, which is our node, kth node, and is it connected to the jth node? So if it is connected, it means g, k, j is non-zero. It will be basically 1 here. And x, k is not equal to x of j, which means those two have not the same color. They should not have the same color and they should not be connected okay and if this is the case and if they are connected like that is they are connected and they have the same color it breaks that means the colored assign xk was not correct so i increment xk so next color is now checked and if i get some color so what happens so now it will if some valid coloring was possible so it will find all the way it will go from j is equal to 1 to n and now it will become n plus 1 that is being checked here and it, it is done so it will return x of k here so we should better write here also x k and here also return x of k okay so this way it returns this and so from this function we get the minimum possible assigned color okay so this way we keep it the assigned color to minimum and this is the case so let's see for one possible graph let's see so this is a graph with four nodes so m n is equal to four and m is equal to three so what i do now i have to color so this if you represent it as a adjacency matrix so it will be one one so this is the case so let's see one example so g one comma g three comma three so it is one because it node three is connected to itself g3 comma 4 3 is connected to 4 so it is 1 g3 comma 1 so it is not connected so it's a 0 
So this is the adjacency matrix of the graph. So now we will call with M coloring one. So this is the first node will get a color. So I assign it X one is equal to one because it will go to get node color or next go node color and one will be valid because all have now a zero color. So this will be fine. Then it calls now if we see, so here it calls get node color. Okay, so it gets X one is equal to one. So now one is not equal to four. So it doesn't go here and X one is not equal to zero. Also, it doesn't return. So it does M coloring one plus one, which is two. So it calls M coloring two. So now X two initially using this function. So what will happen? X two will become it will try for one first, but for one it fails because why? Because x1 was also one so there is a collision of color so then it tries that function get node color x2 will become two and now there will be no collision so this is fine now what happens it goes to xk is now two x2 is equal to two and two is not equal to four two is not equal to zero x so it will now come to m coloring two plus one three so I go to M coloring three and X three will be again assigned in get node color. So X three will be one initially, but neighbors, what happens? X three is equal to one. So now X three is equal to one. So it is adjacent matrix if we see. So its neighbors are of different colors. This was zero. This was two. So there is no collision. So X three becomes one. That is fine. And it calls what? So x3 is one, and it calls x m coloring four. So m coloring four, what happens? X4 is equal to one is tried first here, but x4 is equal to one if we see. So its neighbor, its neighbor one and three both have the color one. So it's not possible x4 it then it will try two. So two is also its neighbor two has the same color two. So that is also not possible. So x4 is equal to 3 is tried and this is possible so this is the graph coloring for m is equal to 3 and n is equal to 4 so i hope you understand this video if you like this please share it among your friends and sub please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks a lot